hypocrisy for the president to take uh, campaign donations from private equity when he's attacking private equity and making that a, a central part of his campaign? Because, Christine, that's not just compar comparing apples and oranges. It's comparing apples and coconuts. I mean, who... who uh, ex Wait, uh, explain to me the coconuts. A contribution, I, I, sure, accepting a contribution from, some, from a particular uh, person involved in venture capital and criticizing Mitt Romney, who has made his record as a venture capitalist at Bain, the central focus of his, uh, of his credibility and his qualification being, for being president are completely different things. So Mitt Romney, in the way that he ran Bain Capital, the companies that he deliberately drove into bankruptcy, the creditors that he left with, with less than pennies on the dollar uh, in, in return, and the thousands and thousands of people who he left on the unemployment lines while making hundreds of millions of dollars of, in profits for himself and his partners uh, mm -hmm. is, is an appropriate examination for a man who is saying that this is the reason we should elect him president. Okay, Congresswoman. Who contributes to Barack Obama has little to do with that because those contributors are not running for president and saying that, that, that they should be elected based on their record. Congressman, this totally is Will Cain. Let's compare apples to apples. It seems to me that the, that the criticism you're offering is that Mitt Romney went into businesses and laid people off. But wouldn't the apples to apples comparison be that's exactly what Barack Obama did. When he touts the auto industry as, as a big, big feather in his cap for the auto industry's recovery, didn't the federal government, didn't Barack Obama go in and lay off thousands of auto worker industries uh, to, save, to save that industry? He laid off well, workers. I am so glad that you used that example because that's another key difference between the way that Mitt Romney would run this country and the way Barack Obama has been because Mitt Romney said we should have let Detroit go no, bankrupt. You're transitioning and to we that would argument, have lost Congressman, one... with all due respect. No, 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 you're transitioning no, no. to that me. one, and I'm asking you about well, didn't well, they lay on, off you workers? Ask me a question. You asked me a question, and I'm going to answer the question. I, I, I may not answer it the way you want me to, but I'm going to answer it. <laughs> I doubt that, right. So, but Barack, so <laughs> surprise, surprise. But Barack Obama made sure that we have an American automobile industry and saved 1.4 million jobs in the pipeline all the way up from, uh, from, from suppliers to direct employees of those manufacturers, and Mitt Romney would have let them go bankrupt. And that is why you see in that polling today that uh, that's my President point. Obama's ahead in Ohio. He's, that's my he's, point. Uh, he saved that neck industry. And neck in Indiana. Did he in not save that industry by li laying off workers at the auto companies? No. And didn't Mitt Romney no. produce net <laughs> job growth through all the companies Bain owned when sometimes he had to lay off workers at certain companies? First of all, Barack Obama was not, the, was not, is not, and never has been the CEO of any of those automobile uh, companies. Mitt Romney was the CEO of Bain Capital, had direct control over the decisions at those companies that Bain took over. He was directly involved in whether to invest or whether to drive those companies into bankruptcy. He controlled. He was the puppeteer. And as a result, people directly lost their jobs because of his decisions. Creditors directly never got paid because of his decisions. And he and his partners made hundreds of millions of dollars at the expense of all of those individuals and creditors. Con and that's what he says we should, is the reason we should elect him. Let, Ryan, and I think voters should hey. have a right to examine that record.